Welcome to the 2020 Go-Kart Championship, round three coming from Bayford Meadows in Kent. Now, as you probably have realised from the other two rounds so far on the channel, these were recorded much earlier on in the year before we had the global pandemic. So let's have an update on the championship standings going into round number three. I'm currently in the standings on 156 points, but the gap isn't massive back to Tom L in second place on 128. We've got Chris in third place on 85 points, but he's not racing today. John, therefore, should be able to leap up the standings on 83 points. Greg, also not racing today, is on 74 points, so possibly all drop out of the top five today. My dad's currently on 72 points. Dom, also racing today on 54 points. Jake, at the bottom of the standings, on 24 points. So, as we go into the first session here today, it's an interesting one. It's qualifying and also a qualifying race. So, what that means is the result at the end of the session, who finishes first out on track will get the race victory, but also you're looking out there for a pole position time. So, it's a bit of an interesting mix. Do you go for the race victory, possibly jeopardize your starting position for the other two races, or do you go for the race victory in that first one, not care about the lap time so much, Sometimes they go hand in hand, but not always. And you'll see it's interesting here today how it plays out. So we're just waiting to get sent out. It's in a completely random order. John happens to be that first cart out of the pit lane. I'm, I think, sixth in the queue. Tom, my championship contender in the standings, at least so far, just ahead of me in P5. So it's an interesting one as John heads out the pit lane for round number three, the qualifying race and qualifying get underway as he exits the pit lane quite slowly. So a quick rundown of who got out there today. We'll start with the onboard cameras. We've got John, we've got myself, my dad. We've also got Dom and we've also got Tom L. And then apart from that, we've got Tom B, we've got Kim and also Victor. So eight drivers out there today. And John is currently leading this first qualifying race, but he's taking it quite easy early on. You can see people are already overtaking, including myself who have gone down the inside there to I think get past my dad as Tom L in front had done the same. So there's a little overtake already there and you can see John is actually not going especially fast. I'm not sure that he has a cart problem. Now on board Tom he was just ahead of me here out the pit lane and he's already taken a few cart links on me and he's up now to third place on the road. John is going quite slowly possibly a cart issue here. Back on board myself as I go past him as well. So John has dropped from first down to fifth out here in this qualifying race straight away Everyone was aware that it was a qualifying race. So interesting to note here what John's doing, whether he was just going for the lap time or whether he was actually struggling here with the car. So my dad's looking to get this overtake done as well. John was slow in that first three quarter part of that first lap, but seems to have picked up some speed now. So not sure what was going on there, whether he was just making sure everything was all right with the car before he started really pushing, but you dropped down the order because the end result of this race doesn't matter so much in terms of where you start for the next one. The result of qualifying will determine the grid for race one. The result of qualifying race will not determine anything rather than just our points for the championship. But you can see Dad gets through there up into fifth place now. You can see a group of four just in front but John is struggling. He's down to sixth position now and definitely having some problems with the car. You can see there he's sliding wide. It wasn't just a him taking it slow, he was uh, really struggling with the cart there. It looks like he's going to bring that one in and see what's going on there. But that's a, that's a big shame for him. It means he's not going to have a particularly good qualifying lap time right now. And also going to be right down the back of the grid in terms of the championship points for this first qualifying race. So not so good for him. So we pay our attention now to the front of this grid. And it's actually Tom B who is making his debut in the championship leading this one. Tom L chasing him down as you can see the onboard camera from him. I'm currently third in the live results and Victor is P4. So you can see Tom L and myself have a bit more experience than Tom B and Victor around this track as looks like John's bringing it into the pit lane. So I was hoping that my experience and Tom was hoping his experience would prove to be very useful around this track. But both Tom B and Victor very quick from the outset here at Bayford Meadows. And you can see it's actually sort of getting towards dusk quite late on in the day. This was filmed back in January, can you believe it? But actually Tom has now got past Tom. So <laughs> it's Tom L leading this race. I'm sitting in just behind. Now, in my head, I was hoping that, okay, I don't need to worry too much about this overtake here. I also want to think about getting a solid lap time in, and I'm not gonna be able to get such a solid lap time in 
if I'm right up behind Tom. But I make a right hash of that, completely messing up the corner and, well, losing myself a lot of ground in both the lap time stakes and the position to Tom leading the race. Back in the pit lane, John is exiting. He's got a new car, but that's cost him quite a few laps out on track. He's going to be right down the back now, but he might have the opportunity to overtake a couple of people here if there are mistakes. So that's the reason why you want to go out there and keep pushing it straight away, get those quick lap times in. Now on board with Dom, final sequence of corners, and he's braked a little bit too late there, or possibly with Kim just in front of him, slightly misjudging it. Goes for a little spin there, but Dom hasn't been in a go-kart for a very long time. I think he was expected to make a couple of mistakes early on, just sort of get some of the rust off. Now he's going to try and overtake Kim around the outside of turn one, a risky one, but he does it. Good stuff there from Dom. Now you can see he's maybe a little bit cold here because he's uh, stretching his fingers out and a little bit too aggressive on the braking zone into turn one, a bit too late on the brakes. And he's off into the grass. And now Tom, parallel to that part of the track, makes a mistake for himself, doing a 180, getting on the brakes. I go through, then Victor goes through. Now he was possibly slightly distracted there from Dom spinning it around because you can see that part of the track from where Tom was. So he possibly just saw it out the corner of his eye, got a bit distracted, drifted a little bit wide, and ended up losing himself a couple of positions. As I go through into the lead of this first race, Victor's now up to second place. Considering how close the championship it is between myself and Tom L will not be too happy with himself there But nonetheless, he got out in third place and he's still gonna try and close down Victor for the second place But it's gonna be really interesting to see who's got the fastest lap out of all this because remember that's gonna decide the grid for the first Feature race I guess you'd say and ooh, Wow a spin there nearly a bit of contact Thankfully my dad avoided that but possibly seeing John in front with the car that's possibly still not quite warmed up. John making a bit of a, a bit of an early braking there, and my dad maybe getting slightly caught out. I think John looking behind there was expecting to see my dad, but wasn't the case. But John, of course, came in after a couple of laps, switched his car. Probably still not a hundred percent confident with it, but I think he did report after this first race here today that he was much happier with this second car. Something very strange going on with the first one, causing him to come in absolutely no grip by the look of it. And also down on top end speed. So back on board with myself here, getting towards the end of this race here. I put a lap on Kim there. And I'm just looking to try and bring out this victory. I didn't expect to win this one, to be perfectly honest. I saw myself sort of matching Tom in terms of pace and I'm making a mistake all over the grass here. But I saw Tom in front of me in this race. I thought I had a little bit more pace than him, so I decided I'm going to back off here and just try and make sure I get the pole position, because if I'm stuck up behind him, I'm never going to be able to have a chance at this pole position. But I saw how quick Tom B was also, and also Victor. Those four, including myself and Tom L, I thought was in a chance of uh, getting the overall pole position here, as Tom now puts a lap on Kim a few more corners after I did. So we're getting towards the end of this race here, back on board with myself. I'm going around the last couple of corners here to come up to the line to take the first race victory here at Bayford Meadows. But, interestingly enough, which we'll speak about in a minute, that wasn't how the qualifying order finished. So I was happy with my result there, P1 over the line. John probably won't be so happy with his. He switched a car and comes across the line to finish race number one there as well. But he won't be too happy with having to come in and switch cars. So let's run through the results then of the qualifying race, which I ended up winning. Second place was Tom B. Third place was Tom L. Fourth place was Victor. We're not sure what happened to him because he was right in the battle as well, but maybe he backed off to try and get a good qualifying lap in for qualifying. My dad ended up fifth. John actually ended up sixth, surprising after his pit stop. Seventh was Dom after having the mistake off the track. He was sitting in the grass for quite a while, which meant he Ended up only second to last here with Kim, eighth place on the road. So quite a lot of drama in that first race. Definitely didn't expect to walk away with the victory. As I mentioned, I was sort of just sitting behind Tom, expecting he was gonna win the race. I wanted to try and go for the pole position time, which we'll see in a minute. Didn't quite work out as I expected. But nonetheless, lots of action throughout the field. Also great debuts in the championship for Tom and Victor, taking second and fourth respectively. But I think it's time we look ahead now to the first race of the day in terms of a feature race. They all score the same points, these races, but in terms of a feature race, let's have a look at how the grid lines up. 
an incredible qualifying debut for Victor. He starts on pole position here today. Second place is myself. Third place is Tom L. And fourth place on the grid is Tom B. Then we look a little bit further down the order in fifth position, it is John. Sixth place is my dad. Seventh place is Dom after quite a few spins. Then bringing up the back of the grid is Kim. So let's look to the lights here for this first race of the day. There we are, green and away we go. Victor gets a good start. Tom L gets a good start here from second place on the road down the inside of myself into turn number one. Amazing start from Tom B gets him into second and there's a spin as Tom L tries to get in there with the extra momentum he took through turn one, but it didn't work out. And Tom B continues to stay in second place, but big championship consequences there for Tom L who spins out at turn one after having a great start. Couldn't quite keep Tom B behind him and well, spinning around after trying to avoid him. That was quite unfortunate, but Tom L is gonna be able to fight back through this field, I'm sure. Now back up all myself, I'm diving on the inside of Tom B, trying to get back second place. Losing momentum on the exit. Can I get the turn into this fast left hand? I'm gonna try and go all the way around the outside. It's not gonna work out. Tom B keeps the position down the inside, so not the greatest lunch for myself there. So trying to look back down the inside into this next sequence of corners is all quite fast all flat out pretty much so you haven't really got a chance to go for a move down the inside unless you're being really really bold but Tom gets a little bit loose through that corner of running a tad wide and going side by side into the first corner I've got the inside line I should be able to take this position and yes I've got my eyes now set forward to try and get Victor who's leading this race so back on board with Dom he's had a good start here he's actually gained a couple of positions here so in first position as we've said it's Victor second place myself third place is Tom B but actually fourth place on the road here for Dom he'll be happy about that start but he's going a bit sideways a bit sideways oh he can't quite keep it under control there my dad and John both have to avoid him there but really good pace there from Dom early on in this race that should be some positive signs for him looking forward to the rest of this weekend of racing here for him but unfortunate got a little bit loose the car got too out of control and unfortunately full 360, well I guess 180, but on board with Tom L here, you can see how much time he's lost here. He's so far behind the likes of even my dad and John who have lost a little bit of time to the leading three of us at the front of this race here. So Tom has got a big gap, you can see we're about 10, probably 10, 12 seconds in front of him. It's a big gap to, to really close down here. So on board with myself as I head into turn one, but nothing happens. Problem with the front left of the car. A broken steering link, steering arm by the look of it. And I'm off, out of second position. And this could be big for my championship chances here. Really big shame for myself, obviously, but Tom after spinning at turn one, possibly will see that as a bit of luck on his end, that eventually he manages to be out the one out of this race to come out with the better position. But that's disastrous for my championship hopes. As we saw at the start of this weekend, I wasn't really leading the championship by too much. Only about 25 points or so. So Tom is going to get a better result here in this one, that's for sure. He's going to start higher up the grid for the second race, the second main race, I should say. And it's all quite interesting how the hell this is going to change the championship. It's going to flip on its head in this one. Really unfortunate stuff. You can see mine pulled off at the side of the track there. Now, Dad is closing down on John here. He's trying to get what is now the battle for third place, I think this is. So you've got Victor leading. Second place is Tom B. It's the two, two rookies to the championship, one and two right now. And third place is John. Fourth place is my dad. And then battle behind, I think fifth place is probably Tom by this stage. We're on board with him, you can see that gap is coming down to the, the, these two who are trying to stay on the podium. And then behind, behind Tom here, we've got Dom. And then we've got myself and Kim. So Tom's going to come out of this race with a better result than me, that's for sure. But what's going to happen in front here? You can see Tom L is definitely closing up to, to these two just in front. As uh, John and my dad have seen Tom B have a spin here. He's put his hand up. Both having to get off the accelerators by the sound of it. And Victor's going to have built up quite a big lead at this point. So Victor's in a very good position to take a win on his championship event debut. So really good stuff from Victor. Incredible speed first time out. Tom, unfortunate to have a little bit of a spin there. Now, on board with uh, other Tom, Tom L. He's closing down this battle, which is now for P2. So John is currently sitting second. Third place is my dad. And fourth place is Tom L. So from going out to last place at the first corner, I don't think you'd have expected to, to see very very soon after, actually only a couple of minutes after, be seeing second place on the road. 
right there in front of him. He can go and capture that quite quickly. He should have the pace advantage over these two. And it uh, looks like, is that Victor slowing up in front? Is there a problem with Victor's car? Not too sure, but he's lost quite a significant amount of time there. So, <laughs> incredibly, Tom is right behind the champion, so the, the race leader right now. Incredible stuff. Really incredible. And now John and my dad both catching up to Victor. I'm unsure whether Victor had an issue with his car, started to slow down. Maybe he went off. I can't really see from the, the camera angles I have available to me what happened there, but Victor lost a substantial amount of time, possibly through an off track, and is now only leading this race by about a second from John. So John, he said, even to himself, this isn't his best circuit, but now he's seeing a race victory right in front of him. Now on board myself, I'm still <laughs> only just about to get out the pit lane, so I've lost a substantial amount of time here, but Tom is looking to get a place on the podium into this first corner, going side by side with my dad, but my dad's going to brave it out around the outside. Really good racing between there, respectful stuff, might have been a tiny bit of contact, but really good stuff for my dad there to be able to hang around the outside. I think Tom, though, should have the extra speed to get past soon. I guess it's only a matter of time. But John doing a great job to keep up with Victor here. So in terms of qualifying speed, he was, uh, you know, I think about a second or a second and a half behind Victor's qualifying time. But in terms of race pace, it looks like John's really got a got a hold, hold on this Bayford Meadows circuit here. He was struggling, as we saw early on in the qualifying qualifying race. But now he's in a great position to possibly take a victory. Now Tom is looking at the inside of my dad. He's taking that tight inside line, which is quite tough to, to keep on the exit because you really do wash out wide. But he's done it. A good move. Fair move. And he's up into third place and really going to be eyeing up at least second place here. Victor started to, to get some speed again here. John, possibly, as we saw in qualifying, qualifying race, possibly is a little bit slower than Victor. But he would have always expected that Victor is a lot lighter. So he's got that on his side. But now Tom is really looking to get this second position from John. John will be disappointed to lose the second position, but probably didn't expect to be in that position in the first place. So later on the brakes from him, he got past now Dom down the inside of my dad. Two overtakes happening at the same time there. So Tom got past John and then Dom got past my dad. But Dom is, I think, a couple of laps down at this point. And oh no, that's unfortunately there's another spin. Oh, that's really unfortunate. My dad has to go off track and avoid slight contact with the tyre wall and then with wet tyres spins himself and is lucky to be avoided by, I think that's Tom B and Dom S, who I think possibly are both a lap down. I'm not 100% sure. And I come through as well at the same time. Not easy to keep track of who is a lap down and who isn't. Back on board with Dom after his mistake a couple of corners oh, and unfortunately he's running a little bit wide and got another spin there unfortunate for him but that's lost him a couple more positions but I think he was already lapped down but on board with Tom side by side with Victor and he's done it incredible scenes not that long after he was spinning at turn one on the first lap of this race Tom's now leading once again really great stuff from him now back on board with myself so I'm already a couple of laps down at this point. I knew that the race wasn't really going to be anything more than maybe, if I was lucky, like a sixth place. I think I think I was, I sort of knew in my head I might be able to retake my positions from Kim, who was uh, doing karting for the first time. But I was letting my dad through here, who, of course, was a couple of laps ahead of me at this point. But then I also thought, I saw Dom spinning a couple of times, so I thought possibly I could get past him. But I'll have a look at the results at the end of this one and see how everything played out, because it's really interesting. Now, on board with John. So he's actually closed up a little bit to this leading bunch, who are having a bit of a battle between them now at this point, which is probably music to John's ears, because he wants to see them battling away. And maybe if they make a contact there and they spin off together, John could take a victory here. So he's, he's fully focused on just staying on the track here and trying to take this one right to the flag so Tom's driven an incredible race spinning at that corner there not that long ago as I've said and he's already got himself back up into the leaders race really really good performance around Bayford Meadows here probably one of the best performances ever seen in this championship an incredible comeback drive and Victor now looking down the inside slotting down the inside for an overtake and he's done it so we saw Victor slow up or possibly make a mistake earlier on in this race as Tom takes the curb and gets the position back as Victor's still down the inside, really close racing between these two. A little bit of contact but nothing too serious but as we said earlier on Victor made a mistake or something which saw him slow up considerably as now they both come to lap Kim. So they both had their dramas in this race, Victor and Tom and they're battling around. Incredible fight here here for the, the first position on the road and now John is having a bit of a tough time to get past Kim but 
He's got down the inside. He's got past Terra. He's still in third place. He'll be, he'll be happy. I mean, he's lost a bit of time there, yes, but he'll still be happy that he's in this podium place. He probably wouldn't have expected that after starting down the order a little bit. So back on board with Tom. He's really, really trying to get past Victor here. He knows how important this is for the championship. Big points here for these races at Bayford Meadows because they are longer races. So points all the same for the qualifying race, race one and race two. In hindsight, race one should have, or the qualifying race should have had less points, but I thought they were all going to have the same amount of time. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. We weren't, we were only given about six or seven minutes in qualifying, where I think we were supposed to have at least ten. So that's a bit unfortunate, but that's the way it goes. That's the way I set up the championship points. But yeah, I realise I'm not in a great position here. A couple of laps down nowhere near the podium positions and I know Tom's going to be starting near the front for the second race two because for race number two the results of race one are the starting positions so I wasn't too hopeful of my chances for the second race then because of this so on board with Dom now he's coming to try and get past Kim as we mentioned Dom's had an unfortunate race quite a few spins or he was stuck in the grass for quite a long time so I think he even lost a lap or maybe even two through that so yeah, he's not exactly at the best race here, but a really good learning experience. He was quick, and that's the main thing I think he was taking out of that first race. So back on board with Tom here. Not that long to go in this race here, and he'll be wanting to get this victory, as I mentioned earlier on. For the championship, this is really, really big. If he can take this win, he'll close down that gap to nearly nearly nothing. The, the gap will be much, much smaller than it was at the start of this event. Even though, of course, I did get the qualifying race victory, and Tom had the mistake, but... Still, he, he ended up, I think, was it third place on the road in the qualifying race? And I'm not going to be third in this one. So, unfortunately, uh, another spin for Dom. But he's sort of really just out there by himself at this point. He knew he wasn't really going to be gaining any position. So, it was all about focusing on lap times and trying to push the limits. But, yeah, I'm going to be nowhere near third place in this race. So, Tom is going to take a big chunk of points out of me. So, you can see Victor's right in front of him. Tom, I think, does have the pure pace over Victor. But Victor's actually sort of ended up being a bit more consistent in this race. Tom is much faster, but making maybe a couple of little mistakes which are costing him some times when going for the overtakes. Possibly not so quick through traffic. It's hard to tell. So, as we mentioned, not that long to go in this one here. I think possibly two laps or one and a half laps for these guys right now to go. So, it's all about getting this overtake done. And it's kind of hard to keep track of time when you're karting because unless you have obviously a digital countdown you have no really idea at how long you're going around because it can feel like an age when you're going around and you've only been in the cart for 10 minutes and these races were about 15 minutes maybe a little bit shorter so he's really trying to get the overtake done as quickly as possible knowing that the race could end at any moment knowing that possibly this could be the last lap so he's going to try and get the overtake done here as I said earlier on in this commentary not the easiest corner to go for an overtake but if you can get a good run then possibly, yes, this is the best place. And down into the first corner, Victor's going to take the wide line, the preferred line to the corner. Slightly misses the apex, though, and Tom gets a much better run through the corner. Victor goes defensive to the inside line, but that's not going to mean such a good run through this next sequence of corners. So Tom breaks a bit later on the preferred line. As we go up to lap some traffic here, is Tom going to look to the inside? Because Victor makes a slight mistake on the brakes. A little bit late on the brakes, possibly. Is there side by side? Those day glow yellow gloves of Victor's soaring away at the wheel as Tom does the same. They're all really trying to just get the most out of these carts as they go side by side down the back straight. It's not that long, but Tom has the inside line. It's not the preferred line. It's very tight. As I said earlier on, you wash out wide, but he's done it. Victor's not been able to keep it around the outside. It's a tough place to do so. And Tom has somehow managed to take back the leader's race on the last lap of this race as John goes for the lap on Kim as well. He's in third place still, so great stuff from him. But let's go back to the leaders here. Tom out of the final corner is going to win this race. Absolutely incredible. Victor tries to slip through and across the line. But wow, what an incredible race that was from Tom. He spun at turn one and dropped to last. Was way down the order. Last place, 12, 15 seconds off the lead, and he manages to win. That is an incredible comeback drive from him there. Of course, there was the, the mistake from Victor, or something happened at some point, which meant that he was dropping back, which definitely helped Tom out there. But, wow, an incredible comeback drive. One of the best, as I said, we've seen in this championship ever. Now, Dom going a little bit slowly around this last lap here. Not too sure if something happened here that we missed, but he's coming up to cross the line here. Unfortunate for him, not the best race result in the world, but he finished.
got some points and some experience. So, race one at Bay Meadows. Here are the results. Tom wins. Tom L, that is. Second place was Victor. A tiny gap between them at the end. Third place was John. A really great drive from him in the end. We're really happy with that result on the podium at Bayford Meadows. I think he said himself didn't expect that. Fourth place was Tom B. A bit of a comeback drive. We saw he spun early on, but a great drive from him. It meant he managed to get past my dad just at the end of this race. And as I said, dad finishing in fifth place. And he was ahead of Dom, starting in sixth place. Unfortunately for myself, I didn't quite manage to catch up to Dom. I thought I might have a chance. I saw him spinning around a couple of times, but it wasn't the case, meaning I finished seventh place on the road. And Kim finished in eighth place. And to be fair, she didn't really have any mistakes, which was really good to see in her first time around Baby Meadows. And I think the first time ever maybe in a cart. Really good to see her just keep it on the tarmac, unlike some of the rest of us. So first place on the grid is Tom. Second place is Victor. Third place goes to John and fourth place goes to Tom B. Now for whatever reason they put me on fifth place on this grid. I have no idea why. So I'm starting fifth. Shouldn't be there. I should be further down. Sixth place is my dad. Seventh place is Dom and eighth place is Kim. As I said, I have absolutely no idea why they lined me up fifth place on the grid, but just couldn't change it at that point. I mean, I'm not complaining, but it's not doesn't seem particularly fair. So a good start here from Dom, really amazing start actually from him, down to the first corner, past my dad, and he's looking to go past me as well, he's going to go from 7th to 5th in turn 1, yes he is, but oh no, a little bit of a sideways moment, exactly like Tom L in that first race, he gets it going again, but that's really unfortunate, just a bit too much momentum through that first sequence of corners, but definitely didn't deserve that, it was a great start from Dom there, so on board now with myself, and you can see this nice queue of carts just in front of me here. So an interesting couple of events in the first couple of corners. I've seen Tom still lead. Second place, Victor. Third place, Tom B. And fourth place, John, who nearly got the overlap there, but didn't quite manage to go for it. And fifth place is myself with my dad just behind. So I started to realise there was a problem with my car quite early on in this race. For whatever reason, it was very slow in a straight line. And I didn't obviously test that out in that first race I've been driving it obviously half that race but something wasn't quite right with this car and I only really realized it once we got to to the race so I should be keeping up with a few of these people and I wasn't so Victor good move down the inside into turn one a bit of a dive but he's managed to do it now they're side by side Victor a bit of a squeeze through the first corner but Tom has got the inside line and he's going to keep that position there so Great stuff there from Tom to keep his cool there, even though Victor did get the move done into the first corner. Signalling to John, who I've uh, ended up getting past here, that I'm looking forward. At this stage, I didn't quite realise what was wrong with my car. And to be fair, I think I'd got past John a little bit sneakily on the brakes. So he probably wasn't especially happy with, it, with me when he realised that I wasn't especially quick either. I was still quite decent through the corners, I felt, but in a straight line. I was losing his exact amount of time. We'll get on to that a bit later, though. Victor's gone for a move down the inside once again. He's getting some great exits off these corners, Victor. And I think Tom B, we saw a flash of him down the inside as well here. So Tom L has not got this all of his own way in the second race here. Both Victor and Tom B have had that experience from the qualifying session, qualifying race session, and then also that first race, first main race. They know what they do around here right now, and Tom's, uh, Tom L's not getting it quite as easy in that first race where he's sort of charging through the field now on board with Dom he's having uh, his own charge through the field here and he's diving down the inside of my dad this one a little bit optimistic my dad was already turning in there I think but it was probably a racing incident there my dad didn't realize that Dom was going to be coming through Dom probably didn't think the door was going to be shut but he was sort of just going for it at this point Dom <laughs> I don't know what got into this into him for the second race but he was absolutely flying uh, we'll get on to the fastest lap as well as all that sort of stuff later, but really good stuff. And now Tom B down the inside of Tom L. So Victor starting to get away in the lead this race here. Not sure what's happened on the last couple of laps here for Tom L. Was leading this race. Of course, they were right behind him, but not keeping it so cool in the lead this race. A bit of a slide from Tom B. Going to cost them both momentum up to the last sequence of corners. Tom L was definitely quicker through that last sequence of corners, but once again... A little bit bogged up as Tom B made a bit of a slide. Now, on board myself here, I'm right behind that battle. Now, I wasn't doing too badly as Tom L goes drifting wide at turn one. Now, he had obviously made a mistake there and I managed to get past. And I was hoping at this point, okay, things are, things are going all right. I felt 
Okay, I'm making positions here, but I'm, I don't feel like I've got the ultimate speed. It was a bit of a weird one here. And I obviously managed to make up a few positions on my starting place, but wasn't feeling especially great. Now, on board of my dad, he's looking ahead to try and catch up with with Dom, but you see Dom is really flying as we mentioned early on. Dom has got some really good speed here in this this uh, second race, so that experience from that first race, making those mistakes, going off the track a few times. He's learned and he's flying in this one. Okay, as I said, we'll get to the fastest lap later. Hint, hint. So, around these last sort of sequence of corners here, it's all flat out on board with John. You can see just in front, I haven't really pulled away. Um, with all due respect to John, I thought I was going to be a decent amount quicker than him around this circuit. So I was a bit surprised when yeah, it wasn't really working out for me. I wasn't really managing to pull that gap in. So Tom had a bit of a scruffy first couple of laps, you could say here. Look at this straight line speed difference. I'm just so slow in a straight line. I would have defended if I knew I was going to be attacked there. But yeah, that's unfortunate. But that's just the way it goes. And I'm just going to try my best to fight in this position here. But... Victor's currently in second place is Tom B. Third place back now is Tom L. And I'm in fourth place hustling the car as best as possible to try and get this position, that podium, as much as possible. You know, in the back of my mind, I was, all, I was thinking about, obviously, the championship between myself and Tom. And the main thing was to try and beat him. Tom L, that is. But at the same time, I was like, I want to win as well, of course. So you, don't wanna, you never want to finish off the podium, especially when... Both Victor and Tom B hadn't been around this track before. I had a bit of experience around here. If it wouldn't have felt too good if I could at least, you know, couldn't at least match on the podium with those guys. So great move here from Dom. Three wide into the final sequence of corners. Incredible stuff. Hakkunen-esque. And on board with Tom L. He's going down for a move of himself into turn one on Tom B. So that was a great couple of corners there for two drivers charging their way through the field. Tom obviously, Tom L has lost a couple of positions early on in this race and they're going side by side once again but he just about gets enough power down the exit but he's trying to charge back for the lead of this one as I view from behind but also Dom is doing a great job himself of just making up these positions and he's going to be, if he keeps up the speed, he's going to be back in contention if this race victory. Incredible scenes here at Bayford Meadows. So I'm chasing down Tom B as best as possible but as we mentioned the struggles on my end mean that I'm just not quite able to match with these guys. These three in front of me are just plain quicker and I'm only keeping with them because they're battling and I'm sort of just a bit lucky that I'm still able to just keep the normal racing lines I'm doing and it's not really slowing me up too much because I'm just so slow in the straights but I managed to catch them up through the corners when they're fighting. But doing my best, just trying to keep it on the road here. Don't want to have another issue like race one. I realised lots of points were lost for the championship, which was obviously not great. But I also know at the back of my back of my head that I run that first qualifying race, which is obviously going to be helpful. So I just need to try not to be too silly here. I don't have to go too crazy to get a podium, but it would be nice. On board with Tom L here. So he didn't have the easiest couple of laps. We saw that. Dropped back to third place. But now he's really putting the challenge here on Victor for the victory. So... <laughs> This is quite incredible stuff here from Tom. He really struggled, obviously, in the first race at Turn 1 where he had the spin. And he struggled in the first few laps of this race where he just dropped back a few positions. But now he's really got the speed. He's putting Victor under a lot of pressure here. Now, Victor, he did lead, off a substantial amount of that first race. But whatever happened, the mistake or whatever which cost him to drop back, meant he dropped back enough time to be in a battle with Tom and end up losing out to it on the last lap. So really, really close between them, these two. We know that the lap times are going to be close. So we'll see what the result is like at the end of this one. Will either of them crack under the pressure of going for this victory? I know it's not like Formula 1. I know it's like not like a big motorsport race or whatever. But still, there is pressure. You want to win these little races. Now, Tom B, after a bit of a mistake at turn 1 from Tom L, has managed to get passed back into second. But Tom B goes drifts wide himself. And a bit of contact possibly on the exit there means Tom L gets back through into second place. But just a bit of time there lost to Victor. Victor, if he does keep a eye out on the corner of these sort of hairpins we'll see that Tom L has lost a bit of time which will be obviously grateful for because he wants to try and keep this lead and get a victory on race weekend daily that would be really interesting to see for him whether he can do so all this fighting has uh, kept me in the fight just about for this podium position so it looks like Tom L is probably quicker than Tom B at this stage and probably should keep up with Victor for the lead but you can see I'm complaining. I don't like looking back at this. I don't like moaning with hand signals. It's, it's something I actually often do in karting, which I, I regret a lot. It just looks quite childish. So I wish I didn't do this so much. 
definitely a lesson to learn on. And Dom flies down the inside of me. I didn't even know he was coming. <laughs> Great stuff there from Dom. Taking the opportunity of me moaning about the cart. Rightly or wrongly. And he's got himself up into fourth position. And a real chance of... Dare I say a podium, but even a race victory here. He's had some incredible speed in this race. It really has been insane to see. So really good stuff from Dom here. You do wonder what would have happened if he hadn't spun it at turn one. I guess he'll probably always be saying that as well. What would have happened if I didn't make that mistake? It'd be so unfortunate. So I think at this point I was sort of driving a bit angry, which is not what you always want to do. I mean, I was not angry at any of the other competitors. I was just angry at the cart. And I was sort of just going for moves that I generally wouldn't do otherwise. That move down the inside into the fast left hander, I wouldn't really do. But you can see, Dom's just so much quicker than me. I should have just, I should have just worked with him here. I should have just stayed in his slipstream and try and gain that way. Because all I'm doing here, driving angry, being defensive when I probably just shouldn't be. I should be working with Dom here. We might have had a chance. I might have had a better, better chance here of a podium. But if I'm continually attacking him here for his fourth position, it's slowing us both up and allowing Tom B who's not having the easiest of times over the last couple of laps himself, it's allowing him to get away because he, you know, he's dropping back from the front too. I think possibly getting a bit cold, but another move down the inside here. All these little mistakes that Dom's making allowing me to make the big moves that maybe I shouldn't really be making because I'm diving down the inside. It's slowing us both up and, as I said, costing us out, us both probably here. So it's close for the race victory. Still, those two battling away. The battle for third place is still on. Tom has got a bit of a... Tom, uh, sorry, Tom B has got a bit of a march from myself here in fourth. And Dom, sitting here in fifth place, is definitely quicker than me. I should have just noticed at this point. Just let him through and follow him. Sometimes it is better to concede and then actually go and work with someone. Especially in karting. Maybe not so much in real racing. In, I say real racing. In car racing, maybe not so much. But in kart racing, sometimes it does really help you out to work with people. So, on board with Tom L here, the battle for the race victory is still on. These two are separated by absolutely nothing this race weekend. It's been absolutely fantastic to see these two battle it out. Qualifying, qualifying race, race one, race two. It's been insane to watch these two battle it out. And that first race, the incredible drive from Tom to come back was astounding in itself. The fact that Victor then came back at him and then Tom came back at him was just really really great to see one of the best races I think we've ever had in this championship really insane stuff to see now I'm bored of my dad now he's just sort of going around by himself at this point trying to put a lap on Kim Kim probably not 100% sure that my dad was there but he makes the move around the outside they're quite brave I think one wheel slightly touching the grass there but he's he's managed to make the move stick around the outside and doesn't quite make the same mistake as Dom from that first race doesn't take enough curb to go flying off so it keeps you on the track, which is the main thing. Now, look how quickly Dom's managed to catch up to the back of Tom B here in third place. I should have just known. I should have realised that Dom was this quick and just let him through. But my, I guess, arrogance in that situation, my driving angry, meant that I just couldn't concede that position. And it cost me so much time. And I think it cost me enough time at this point that I just wasn't quick enough to stay with him once he did manage to get past. And he's got past him there. He's got past Tom B for third place after spinning at turn one. Another miracle drive here from Tom. Uh, from Dom, I should say. But he's gone and half spun it again. And Tom B's through. And I'm through again. Ah, oh, Dom's going to be really hitting himself throughout that. But this time he's aggressive. He gets the move down the other side. But then, as I said, driving a bit angry still. I put the car back up the inside. But Dom... He's got that extra speed. He flies around the outside of me like I'm not even there. And I think I realised at that point right there, just concede, Alex. You're not going to be able to beat this guy. He's quicker than you. Through whatever situation, don't be an idiot. Just keep it on the track at this point. So, whatever happens here for the race lead, I'm not sure. Looks like Victor's stolen a march here on Tomel by a couple of seconds. And it means that Tomel now... Looks like he's going to have to concede that he's not going to win the two big races here today. He's going to possibly only win one of them. Victor's had some strong speed here in this latter third of this race. Which he'll definitely be happy about. He's really managed to pull away in the, the last couple of laps. Now on board with Dom. You'll be happy to hear this is the last lap of the race. And he's looking to get past Tom here for a podium. So this is all on the line here. Tom gets a bit wide. Side by side between the two of them. Round the outside, is it going to work? Tom B a bit sideways on the inside. It looks like Dom's going to do it. Round the outside, they're still side by side. Dom's going to have to just about cut in in front of Tom. 
and he's got third place on the last lap of this race. Victor's won it. Second place has gone to Tom L. But an incredible drive from Dom to finish third. Absolutely awesome. Incredible. Some great racing at Bayford Meadows. Of course, if I look at it on a personal level, wasn't the best weekend. But we look at it in terms of the racing we've had and some of the overtakes and just the general racecraft. We've had really great stuff from everyone out there today. So let's look at race number two, the finishing order. Victor manages to get a win after starting that first race from pole position. Second place was Tom L. And as we mentioned, third in that race was Dom after an incredible last lap overtake on Tom B, who finished fourth. Frustrated myself in fifth place. Not good in terms of my overall finishing order from this weekend, but I just got to learn from it and just take the points I did get. Sixth place was John. Bit disappointed probably from going from podium in race one and having some great pace from race two not quite being there. And then seventh place was my dad. A bit of a lonely race for him. As for Kim in eighth place. Now let's look at the fastest lap. So also some points up for grabs here. Not a huge amount, but a couple. And that's done over the two races, race one and race two, not including the qualifying race. And really good stuff from Dom. He managed to get the fastest lap. You saw how quick he was in that second race especially. And he was in, you know, insanely fast. He got the fastest lap out of everyone after having no experience at this track and having a, a mare of a time, I guess you could say, in race one. Second fastest was Victor. Third fastest was Tom B. Fourth fastest was Tom L. And fifth fastest was myself. So, you know, considering myself and Tom L have some experience around this track, as well as my dad and John, we weren't really that good out there today in terms of actual pure speed fastest lap. Sixth place in the fastest lap competition was John. Seventh place was my dad. And eighth place was Kim. So what does that do for the championship standings? So as I said before, the championship standings before this round were you know, 25, 30 points. I was, I was happy with the, the gap I'd managed to get over Tom L but it drastically changed obviously a really bad round for me I managed to only beat Tom L in the qualifying race and qualifying but he managed to beat me significantly in race one significantly in race two and just about in the fastest lap as well so that meant that I'm still sitting at the top of the championship but the gap is vastly down 2-1-2 and now Dom Tom I should say is on 1-9-9 John is still sitting third place, or sorry, has jumped up to third place in the standings ahead of Chris, who didn't enter this round, onto 128 points. So still in that championship battle, got two rounds to go, eight lots of races. So he's going to be looking to possibly stay in that championship battle, maybe try and get to the top three. My dad isn't that far behind, though, even though he hasn't had the best of seasons, only one featuring in the top three all year, and that was qualifying for Filchy Manor right at the start of the season. Hasn't managed to place in the top three since. He's on 112 points. Then Dom, after getting that fastest lap, a podium in race number two is on 101. So closing down that gap to my dad. Possibly could get third place in this championship, uh, Dom, after missing the first round at Filchy Manor. So he'll be keeping the eyes out for that. Then down the order, we've got Chris on 85 points. As I mentioned, he didn't enter this round. Nor did Greg. He is sitting on 74 points. Also sitting on 74 points is Victor. Obviously he had a great weekend here. He got qualifying pole position, also won race number two and finished second in race one and second in the fastest lap competition. So I had a really strong debut weekend in the championship, as did Tom B as well. He finished second in the qualifying race, right out of the blocks, never driven this track, uh, this cart before, managed to get second place in the qualifying race. Really strong stuff from him. Uh, a couple of fourth places or three fourth places as well in there and also a third in the fast lap competition really strong from him and also kim as we mentioned earlier on in this one hasn't really had much experience in karting if any so coming in here against us guys was always going to be a tall order but she did a you know really good job managed to get faster in every single one of the sessions and uh, she'll definitely be happy with that so yeah victor on 74 tom b on 59 kim on 25 just ahead of jake on 24. So join us soon. The next round is Q Leisure in Brighton. An interesting circuit, one that nobody has driven before. So we'll see who turns up for that one and then who will lead the championship going into the final round of the season at Lid. A track I think a lot of us really do enjoy. So let's see what happens here. As I mentioned, all of these races took part way earlier in this year. The first three rounds took part in January. The second to last or the second to last two rounds were actually in February so 
it all happened before this pandemic hit the UK. Unfortunately, obviously, all of us are sort of living through a tough situation right now. But just to, to mention, this was all much earlier on in the year. So thanks for watching. As always, hopefully you enjoyed and uh, I'll hopefully see you soon for round number four at Q Leisure. See you soon. Goodbye.